Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Mad Pack with myself, Lewis. Hope you're brilliant. Having yourself a great day as always. I've been doing it. I've actually done it. I went mining. I know. Oh, <laughs> I didn't want to, but I done it. And we got stuff, and it's brilliant. Lots of stuff. Look, things. Although most of it's upstairs now. And ores and diamonds and things. It's beautiful. And I just finished another mining trip. I got more things as well, which are great. So let's put these away. <laughs> cool, cool. I had to stop one of my mining trips. I had to stop, I actually, I actually had to stop two of them because one, I ran into a silverfish nest, hence the silverfish heads, which was pretty nasty. And the other one, I ran into a dungeon, like a big old underground dungeon. And believe me, we're gonna go in there and check it out at some point. But at the minute, there are so many bad guys, <laughs> I wouldn't stand a chance. So I just kind of, uh, yeah, I turned town and ran. But we'll go back there at some point. All right, where should I put this place down there? There we go. Cool, cool. All right, so let's start with our uh, lovely piece of channel art of the day. Oh yes, this is another one by Emmy Ray. I did say we're gonna have an Emmy Ray double bill. So here we go, coming up on your screen right now is this very nice piece of uh, sketch work. Check this out, it's got me, and then a little birdie on my head, and then it kind of, it's raining a little bit, and, oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, oh, oh, why oh, is it so far away? There we go. <laughs> All right, back to the channel of the day. Yeah, look, got a little birdie on the head, and then it starts raining. I'm like, oh, it's, it's uh, the rain hurts. What is this? And then all of a sudden, look, I got a little bucket on my head. How awesome is that? <laughs> cool, cool. All right. Well, thank you very much, Emmy Ray, for sending in your channel. It's very much appreciated. And remember, guys, if you have anything that you want to send in, drop it in to the Gmail address or give me a little poke on Twitter. Send it that way, and we'll get it on the. Uh, we'll get it in an episode for you. Uh, yummy. Uh, cool, cool. All right. So today, I have a plan. And this plan is we're going to do a little bit of two things. We're going to go to the village and we're going to go find something awesome. And we're also going to do a little bit of Project E. Because now I have a few bits that will allow us to do this. And namely, diamonds are the first step. Because the first thing that we need to make to become stupidly overpowered is a Philosopher's Stone. And we need some diamonds, we need some glowstone, and we need some redstone. And I think I have most of this. Yeah, I've got some redstone, and I found some glowstone in the dungeon. So let's grab you. There we go. And I'm currently uh, supporting two picks at the minute. <laughs> One pick is an iron pick for killing the uh, the geo the things the gorgatrons, and the other one's an osmium paxel for actually mining because this is so much faster than an iron pick. But the iron the, the osmium paxel doesn't seem to do the damage that a pickaxe does to those guys. So I'm carrying two pickaxes. Soon this will upgrade it to an even more powerful pickaxe. Just you wait. All right, so let's get this guy put together. This is kind of our first step to being awesome. So we need you, and I should be able to just do that. There we go. Nice! So we have ourselves a Philosopher's Stone. We can change things into stuff. Look, how brilliant is that? Oh, it's amazing. But the other thing that's cool with this is I can push C and it brings up a crafting table for me. And now we can craft in there. How cool is that? But this isn't the best thing about it. For us to be able to do really cool stuff, I think the first step we're going to go to and there is two really that we can go to, is we either need to make an energy condenser or we need a transmutation table. The transmutation table requires gold, whereas the energy condenser requires diamonds. And it also needs an alchemical chest and I'll need some covalence dust to be able to get my hands on that. With covalence dust as well, we can also make ourselves some of these divining rods, which we might get into. These are kind of cool. It'll help me find some better ores if I use one of these. Uh, but the alchemical chest is pretty much just a chest. It's kind of cool. We can use it for um, the alchemical bags and things. They're quite funky. But I think what we're going to go down is I would like to make an energy condenser. Like, everyone wants to make energy condensers. That's kind of what I want. But I don't think I have nowhere near enough diamonds to be able to do that. But what we can do is... And I need to get some stuff. So iron. If we add some iron, we can place it in here with our philosopher's stone. And we can turn things into other things. If I can remember how to do it. There we go. So that will give me gold, see? 
and we can work our way up the list by doing things like that which is pretty cool so i can throw those in there and bam we've got free gold and then if i get gold i can make diamonds and i think if we have a look up here I should have some more gold. Now you do need a certain amount, and uh, that's the whole idea behind equivalent exchange, you know? Equivalency at its most. Uh, if we put it like this, I think that will give me a diamond. Yeah! Cool, cool! And you can work your way out from the bottom, so there are many things that you can do with this. Uh, but it is, uh, you know, it's kind of cool, isn't it? I like it. Now, at the minute, we don't have enough diamonds, and we don't have enough gold. I'm, I'm fresh out of gold. Uh, we got a fairly decent amount of iron, but I don't think I want to use all my iron up exchanging it for other stuff. I would rather just find some gold. I think that's uh, what I'm going to do because, you know, it's all good doing that. But if we can find gold and we can double it, then all the better. Because at the minute we're just making ores like we generally do, like uh, by doing it that way. But I think what I'm going to do is now that I've got diamonds... I'm going to make some seeds, and I'm probably going to make some diamond seeds, because they're not that expensive. They do need extreme essence, which is quite a bit of essence, but I have found a fairly decent amount of essence on my journeys. I've got a little bit in here, and I think I had some over here. Yeah, we got some in here. So I got like a decent amount, and we can use redstone and other bits for all our equivalency to get ourselves up to that. But at least we've got a start. We've got our Philosopher's Stone. We can do crafting on the go. We can turn things into other things, which is great. Like, if we add some wood, we can turn it into obsidian. I think that recipe's still in here. I'm going off the old Equivalent Exchange 2 recipes here. Um, but we used to be able to change uh, obsidian into logs. Is that still how it works? Uh, I wonder if this still has the uses recipe on it. Let's have a look. Yeah, nice. All right, so we can make the different types of fuels, the Mobius, 18 Alice, and all those. Uh, gold into iron. Diamonds into gold. And that looks pretty much like it. Yeah. Okay. So the first step, really, I guess, will be to get more stuff and then make myself a transmutation table. That's going to be the next step. So I'm going to have to do some more mining and get myself some more gold because I don't want to be I don't want to be transmuting all of this up just to make gold because I won't have any of the other stuff. So that's kind of going to be the next task there. So let's pop all of these in here and we're going to get ourselves ready for going to the city and grabbing ourselves some villages. Yes. Now I am going to need some gold and I am going to need some of this stuff and you guys and I don't know how many of these I actually want to make. I think I'm going to make two, and the rest I will do another way. So we'll make those. And we need some string. And let's get some nuggets. Cool, cool. And we're going to make a golden lasso so I can make my way to the city and I can grab myself some villagers. There we go. Nice. And they can go in there. And this stuff can go back inside here. Sweet. Nice. Now, I did also find, which you may have noticed a minute ago, as I was rummaging through my chests, I had a little look around to see if I could find any cool buildings, and I found something very cool that I think you guys will like. I found another Pandora's box. Oh, yeah. So, we're going to open that one up later, and it's going to be amazing. We've still got the giant worm. Some of you guys believe it's a giant worm. You're probably right, and that's still sat outside doing its stuff. Uh, and that reminds me, actually, before we go to bed and we go to the city... How about we actually hand in a quest? <laughs> like, I've been meaning to do this for episodes, for ages, and I just keep d forgetting to do it. We've got a quest that's done, like this guy killed all the zombies. It gives me an artifact iron chest and a green heart canister. Bam! See? How cool is that? And that's, uh, that's, that's pretty funky. That gives us some good stuff. Nice. Alright, and what do we get? We got blast, protection, sturdy iron pants of stability. <laughs> Knockback resistance when equipped, health boost when equipped, 2.5 hearts, slowly repairs itself when held, blast protection for absorption free and fawns one. That is insane. Absolutely insane. So if I pop that on, and look, we got the addition. Oh, are these the pants of awesomeness? I think these are the pants of awesomeness. Well, we can take them off and then pop them back on and it gives us health back. Yes. <laughs> we lost these because of the uh, because of the, the fiery storm, didn't we? Of death when my house got burned down. Uh, well, we got them back now, so that's kind of cool. And we got a green heart canister, so I can pop this on. It'll give us another heart, like that. 
And that should do something cool. I think these give us like a permanent health increase. If I'm right, let's have a look. Accessory, permanent health increase. Although I don't know if it stacks with this. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, yeah, no, it doesn't stack with these guys. Oh, maybe it does. Is that two and a half? Take you off. Take you off. Okay. Pop that on. I think it takes a little bit of time for this guy to actually take effect. Because it doesn't seem to be doing a great deal at the minute. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be doing anything at the minute. Come on, give him a heart. Give him a heart. No, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. All right, we'll pop these back on. And... There we go. Oh, we did get the other one, didn't we? We did get it afterwards. It just doesn't seem to be registering at the minute. I wonder if I take these off. Yeah, there it is. Look, there it is. And now I put it back on. Hey, nice. All right, cool. So that's brilliant. So let's grab, before we go, my safari nets. Because I'm going to need these. And we'll just grab a handful of these. There we go. And take these out here. All right. I think we are pretty much set. So let's have a sleepies. And we will make our way to the sea. I haven't shown you guys the sea yet, have I? It's pretty awesome. I must admit, it is pretty cool. Actually, there's, mm, there's loads of cinders to that side. <laughs> there was one of those cinder storms a minute ago that blew the house down. And I kind of ignored it. Let's see if we have a bow. Do I have a bow? No. Can I make a bow? Yes. Actually... Can I make a gun of some sort? <laughs> like something that I can fire at these guys. I can't make a hunter's hand gun yet. Uh, can we make like a special bow? Uh, I really need to get into this stuff. I need to get into tech soon. Uh, stone short bow. Iron short bow. No. Alright. We're going to quickly just make ourselves a bow. There we go. And I'm going to go and throw a level 30 enchant on it. And just hope that we get something good. There we go. Bam. Punch four. Uh, power four. Punch two. I'm breaking three. That's actually pretty good. You know, I'll take that. That's a fairly decent bit of damage. And we'll grab some arrows. And this is just in case they come swarming at us. Which the chances are they're probably going to. I think I got some arrows in here somewhere. I saw like 64 arrows a minute ago. Where are those arrows? Uh, there they are. Alright, cool. We'll do that. Sweet. All right, let's make our way to the city. We'll grab some good villagers. And after... Oh, man, this is going to be horrible. <laughs> oh, man, it's making an awesome noise. That's insane. Oh, man, come on. Come on. He dodged that at the very last second. I don't believe it. I'm just going to run. I am just going to run. And hopefully, we'll be just fine. <laughs> It was some time ago that cinder storm was. Oh, I can see movement. Oh, great, you. They don't seem to be aggroing to me, which is kind of good. Yeah, I think, I think we're... Oh, no, no. There we go. <laughs> nice. All right, guys, I'm going to make my way to the city. It's just over this hill, and I will see you shortly. And here we go. We're at the villager city. Believe me, there are a lot of villagers here. I'm probably <laughs> going to turn down my creature sound for this. What are these guys? Un friendly creatures? Let's turn these down. Yeah, there we go. All right. So there are tons and tons of guys here. Tons of loot, tons of stuff. So many villagers that I wouldn't even know where to start, which ones we're going to steal. So we're just going to take a random group, I guess. Bring them back to the village at... Oh, no, I can hear the things. <laughs> I can hear the things. Uh, let's go through here. <laughs> there we Why did they break like that? That was strange. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. There are the Spriggins. <laughs> There's millions of them here. Oh, my God, I just shot the golem. Uh, 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 hey! Oh, I missed again. All right. <laughs> We're just going to let them do their thing and let's have a loot and see what we can find. Because this place is like proper, proper huge. Uh, but there is loads of chests. Last time I came here, I didn't loot anything. Like I said, I wanted you guys to see all the looting because I know you prefer it when you get to see all the funky stuff being looted. Because sometimes you might be able to find 
some really, really cool loot. Right. And I was even thinking of taking this place over, and then I realised that that's a really, really stupid thing to do. Because we have one of those bam storms, and there goes the whole place. <laughs> like, literally everything will go up in fire. It's kind of the main reason I've been trying not to come near this place, is so that stuff doesn't spawn. Because if stuff spawns, that's going to get burnt to the crisp, isn't it? Oh, look, loads of food. Nice, let's grab all of you. Oh, yeah, look at all this. It's brilliant. Pork chops for days. And it actually looks like a lot of the villagers have died. <laughs> it's something I really wasn't hoping would happen. But it does look like a lot of them may have bit the dust. Hmm. Now, I don't think... Oh, no, there's some cool stuff over there. I don't think the regular village buildings spawn here. Like, you know, like, we can have the Tinker's ones and stuff like that. I don't think we have many of those spawn... Oh... Oh, hey, bro. Oh, brewing stand. I'll have that. Thank you very much. And let's put this stuff in here. All the rubbish that we definitely don't want. There we go. Alright, let's make our way over to this other place. Which was over here. And they had some pretty cool buildings, you know. This place does look pretty funky, doesn't it? All its walls and things. Unfortunately, though, walls do not save you in this mod pack. <laughs> it's far from it. No, no. <coughs> Yummy. Look at all those guys down there doing their thing. Ooh. All right, I want to get up into here. So, should we just... Have I got any more bricks on me? I think 11 might do it. Oh, literally just enough. Nice. All right, I'm going to take all these books again. Because everything that we take now is kind of worth stuff. Purely because if everything that we take, we'll, uh, you know, we'll be able to transmute into other stuff. So it's worth just grabbing everything. All right, except for wood. I don't want wood. <laughs> um, do you want never wart? Do we do? I'll trade that for that. And then seeds for books. There we go. Oh, my God. Look how many books I got. That's insane. Uh, what are books worth? EMC 168. Stack EMC 10,752. So there's a stack of those worth a, bu a diamond. It's like 10,000, 8,000. Yeah, so a stack of books is worth a diamond. You know, I can live with that quite happily. Having my inventory full of books for the time being, that's fine. Alright, let's get ourselves some villagers. And... We need to find some villagers first. We need to find some decent villagers. That's kind of the thing. Let's put all the books in here so I can transmute all those up later for other stuff. And that... Man, just doing that just took everything out of my satchel. <laughs> Why did you do that? Uh, what did I... Uh, did you... Okay. Alright, there we go. Okie doke. So let's get our golden lasso. And what was that? Oh no. Okie doke. We're back. Looks like I had a little crash all right there. Something that skellywag did to me was not good. <laughs> but we're back now. I had to quickly pop it into peaceful and then back out again to get rid of that guy. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I think we're okay now, which is great. So, and look what I found as well. Oh, I found a full tinker's place. How cool is this? Like, we can grab... We might as well take all of this while we're here. And we'll pop this straight in the bag. Although, I don't want to hit anyone. <laughs> oh, no! It's on fire! <laughs> oh, no! Why is it on... What is that fire all about? Oh, well. At least it isn't catching all the rest of them. You know, anything weird that happens in a mad pack like that now, I just kind of... I'm just used to it now. <laughs> I see it, I have my brief moment of despair, and now I'm just like, eh, it's a mad pack. What'd you expect? It's gonna happen. It's gonna burn down eventually. Anything that you make is eventually gonna burn down. So, uh, <laughs> don't get too attached to your buildings, because eventually they will be burned down. Although I have decided what I'm gonna build for my house. I'm gonna make a quarry. A build craft quarry, and I'm gonna quarry out a massive area. And we're going to live underground. I'm going to create a castle underground with gardens, fields, and forests all underground. It's going to look glorious. 
At least that's uh, kind of what I want to do. But alright, let's grab some guys. So, he does for berries. Brook. Uh, I kind of want ones that are decent. Emeralds for chestnuts. Yeah, I got loads of emeralds. That might actually be worth it because he might leave something good. So, David, you can come with me. And. Drake? Yeah, we'll take Drake. Come here. Because, you know, blackberries and things are really easy to get, aren't they? And, you know, I'm just going to take all of these. There we go. We'll just grab all these guys. And I'll sort them out later. Because if you haven't realised, it's getting dark. <laughs> and when it gets dark, bad things happen. Alright, you guys can all go in there. With that stuff. I'm going to get my sword out. Because it's very soon going to get bad. Got my arrows. Alright, I think we're good. Let's make our way back to base. Oh, is there stuff in here? Oh, it looks like there's stuff in here. Let me in. Let me in. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. I've angered. I've angered the villagers. I've angered the villagers. Run away. Get away from the guy. Oh, there's another chest there. Oh. Uh, which way did I come in? I came through here, didn't I? Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> they noticed that I took their brethren and they got angry. I don't, I'm not surprised. I'm like the child snatcher. It's horrible being me. Oh. I should have like a decent amount of protection. Like with all this stuff on. I think we're good. Although this guy's got like insane health. I know he was a giant skeleton. And our uh, thing's now got like to 29.8. On the Richter scale of, of bad. So. <laughs> things are very soon going to start getting pretty bad around here. Hmm. I think we'll be able to survive. And it looks like most most of the cinders have gone. Which is very, very nice. Indeed. Cool, cool. Oh, no, there they are. <laughs> They're still there, waiting to burn my house down. But you're not burning down today. My house is going to be underground. <laughs> cool, cool. Alright, guys. Well, I am going to go inside my house. If I manage to get there, yes. And I'm going to have a sleepy, so I'm going to put this stuff away, and we'll be back to finish up. Oh, yes. Okay, so before we finish up, we have one last thing to do, because I'm going to go between this and the next episode. I'm going to sort out all my villagers, see if any of them are any good or not. If they're bad, I might take them back. Who knows? Uh, I could even start up like a little villager village, couldn't I? Villager village. Ooh, who knows? But we've got a Pandora's box to do. And I've been excited to do this, because this is going to be brilliant. Let's go find a place to set this off. Now, much like the last one, we're going to do it a little bit away from the base, because who knows what could come of it. Let's get rid of this skeleton. There we go. Bam. Oh, it's a soul. <laughs> it's a spirit. Uh, I think I'm going to do it over... Over... Over this way. Yes. Let's just get rid of this guy. Because nobody wants cinders outside their front door. Especially me. Here we go. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. He's green. Nobody wants green. He's gone full on Hulk style at me. Is he still coming after me? He is. He is. Am I going to stop burning up anytime soon? Okay. All right. I think we did. I wonder if I can kill this guy. Let's see if we can get this guy quickly. He's not very strong. Yeah, he's dying real quick. Come on, come here. There we go. Did he drop anything good? He dropped cookies. This guy just dropped cookies right here. Nice. Sweet. All right, let's go and set this off. So let's do it over... Over this way. Should we just do it on the edge there? Yeah, we'll do it on the edge there. All right. We'll do it next to the Yales. I'm sure they won't mind. So, here. And I'm ready to run, because that's what I do. And go. Oh, run away, run away, run away. Let's go in here. Do I hide in here? Did anything happen? There's some boots right there. Uh, there's like things on the floor. Some bootings. A quest book. <laughs> Pack. This looks like my stuff. Did that like steal my stuff? <laughs> Did it steal my stuff and throw it back at me? <laughs> Seriously? 
I didn't even realize my stuff go missing. It, that's, that's like, man, at least it didn't take my bag. That was a troll and a half, that was. If I hadn't realized, like, if I didn't see that thing there, I probably would have just thought it was a dud. And then I would have gone back to my base, I would have been like, eh, eh, um, where's my packs all gone? And my quest book and stuff. I wonder if it finished a quest for me. Did it finish any quest for me? No, it didn't. <laughs> oh, so good. Nice. Cool beans, guys. All right, well, that's going to be that for that episode. Got a bit of a troll Pandora's box right there at the end, but I'm sure if I go off searching, I can find some more. I would also want to find some lucky blocks, because, you know, we get some pretty good stuff from them sometimes, if you're lucky. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right, guys, well, if you're enjoying the series, make sure to drop a like, and if you're new to the channel, I urge you to subscribe for more awesome content. As always, have yourself a great day, have a good un, and... <laughs> and... Good... But wait, did I have... Where's my armor gone? <laughs> oh no! Did I have boots? Pretty sure I had a helmet and stuff. Uh, did they break? They must have broke. Probably broke. Who knows? I give up. <laughs> Alright, see you in the next episode. Have yourself a great day. My name is Lewis, and goodbye.